Kurdish language is today divided in different dialects and alphabets due to different reasons. One of the reasons being the separation among the people due to the dividing of the Kurdish land. Another is the historical forced integration of the Kurdish people into the different countries that occupies Kurdistan. For non-Kurdish people it can be difficult to understand the differences between the dialects. Even for some Kurds sometimes the different dialect doesn't make any sense, sounding like different languages. What's the reason behind this? Before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support us by liking, sharing and commenting on this video. Now without further ado let's get into the video. Speaker of the Kurdish language, the Kurdish people were divided between four countries after the first world war. These countries are Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. Due to this, but also due to forced deportations of the Kurdish people, there is a lot of Kurds speaking Kurdish in other areas too, not least Western Turkey and Northeastern Iran. The Kurdish language is a member of the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European language. The difference between Persian and Kurdish is that the Persian language belongs to the Southwestern Iranian branch while the Kurdish language belongs to the Northwestern Iranian branch. There is many similarities between the Persian and Kurdish language. However, these two are today two different languages spoken by two different people. The Kurdish language is divided between many different dialects. Among these are Kurmanji, Sorani, Pehlewani, Luri, Zazaki, Haurami and Zaza Gorani. The most widely spoken are Kurmanji with its 20 million speakers. It is mainly spoken in Turkish and Syrian occupied Kurdistan but there is also Kurmanji speaking Kurds in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. The second most widely spoken dialect is Sorani with about 8 million speakers, mainly in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan and Iranian occupied Kurdistan. Luri and Pehlewani has about 4 to 5 million speakers each. The Luri dialect is spoken in Iranian occupied Kurdistan while the Pehlewani dialect is spoken both in Iranian occupied Kurdistan and the Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. The Zazaki dialect is spoken by around 3 to 4 millions in mostly Turkish occupied Kurdistan but also Iranian and Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. In addition, we have about 400,000 Gorani speakers which belongs to the Zaza Gorani subgroup of the Kurdish family tree. This group lives mostly in the Kurdish areas of the Zagros mountain in Iranian occupied Kurdistan and Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. And among the Zaza Gorani subgroup, we also include the Haurami dialect. The dialects are many and many more can be listed, but to keep this video as short as possible, we're only talking about the biggest ones in Kurdistan. If you want a full list, we will provide a link to all Kurdish dialects in the description box below. As mentioned before, some people have problems understanding each other's dialects while other doesn't seem to have the same problem. This can depend on whether you are born and raised in Kurdistan or if you are born and raised or have been living outside of Kurdistan for a long time. For example, people living in an European country with a Kurmanji speaking family has it harder to understand Sorani speakers. However, many Kurmanji speaking Kurds living in Kurdistan wouldn't have the same problem if they were to visit Iraqi occupied Kurdistan to talk with the Sorani Kurds. Now, Kurds were in one way or another divided between clans before World War I. However, when the borders of the occupying countries were set after the war, the splitting of the Kurds were developing the dialect differences among the Kurds, as it was very hard if not impossible for civilian Kurds to interact with other Kurds in other areas of Kurdistan. If we look at the Kurdish alphabet, we see this separation very clear. The Kurmanji dialect is written with Latin letters, while Sorani is written with an Arabic look-alike alphabet. There is also a bunch of Kurds interacting in the Kyrillic alphabet. 
This makes the Kurdish language divided between three different alphabets which all has come depending on where you live as a Kurd. In Iraqi occupied Kurdistan during the 1970s, an engagement to totally change the Kurdish alphabet into Latin was encouraged by many, one of them being Jalal Dabar, a Kurdish politician who with other claimed that the Kurdish language due to its linguistic background were better written in Latin. However, within time his newspaper Biri Nue was closed down by the Iraqi regime who called it anti-Arabic. Kurds has since World War I in one way or another been forbidden to speak, write or use the Kurdish language both in private and the society as whole. In Turkish occupied Kurdistan one of the most well known strugglers for the Kurdish cause Leyla Zana was imprisoned for 15 years serving 10 years before being released only cause she said a Kurdish sentence in the Turkish courtroom. Don't miss out our exclusive documentary about Leyla Zana and her life. Link will be provided in the description box below. For now, the Kurdish language have seen worse days. In Iraq, the Kurdish language is recognized as an official language. Since the Syrian civil war in 2011, the Kurds in Rojava has without fight taken their right to speak their language probably because the central government in Syria has other things on their mind rather than banning the Kurdish language. In Turkey and Iran, the Kurdish language is still forbidden or restricted. However, the ability to move around between the four different parts of Kurdistan is much easier now than back in the days and this fact will make it much easier for Kurds to create unity among the speakers of the Kurdish language. By the way, our channel is currently looking for people who want to help us translating our videos into other languages. We currently have English, Swedish and Sorani Kurdish translators. But we are looking for new languages so that we can keep on growing this channel as much as possible. If you are interested, we will link our mail in the description box below. Just send us a message with who you are and what language you would like to translate into and we will reply you as soon as possible. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like and comment your opinion and what we should do next on this video.